Now, in the, in the chapter talking about the ministry in the heavenlies, okay. Christians have the authority to keep their areas free from shooting sprees at local schools, mm. churches, mm. malls, or public events. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Islamic yes. terrorist attacks. Mm -hmm. You can stop them. We're not having any in Branson. That's right. That's right. Branson, Missouri has 8 million tourists. My son, because we have a, we have a, a fire department out where we are. We're so far away and they didn't have fire. So we got a fire truck and we've got a fire department. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he trained. And he said, you know, they teach us all the time about terrorists. If terrorists want to come here. I personally know, been contacted by people of plots against Branson. But we knew about them and we got them stopped. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have it happen. There doesn't have to be a school shooting. Oh. No. You can walk around your school and draw a bloodline around yes. it. You'll never have a shooting there. Right. All you have to do is take authority Jesus. over the powers yes. of the air. They usurp their authority. Satan gave it. I mean, Jesus, excuse me, Adam gave it to them. He was supposed to be the authority of the powers of the air. But he let it over into the hands of the devil. They set up themselves in there. Even Jesus called him the prince of the power of the air, the God of this world. It's largely, contain, largely controlling what's happening. Mm. But we don't have to have it, have it. Christians have the authority to keep their areas free from epidemics of suicide. Mm. Oh, Demons sitting on shoulders are behind every suicide. Oh, yes, yes. Christians have the authority to keep Satan from having high carnival in their homes, in their families, in their ministries, mm -hmm. in their churches. Wherever demon forces are the culprits, we have the authority to keep them at bay. Mm, amen. The authority comes with the new birth. But believers must know how, must know about it. And they must know how to operate it. It is operated from a seat of authority at the right hand of the Father on high. A seat every believer can rule from because they are seated there in Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Amen. The principles of the authority of the believer are in the book of Ephesians. All the Bibles for the church, but not all the Bibles about the church. Some of the Bibles about other people. But the New Testament letters are about you. Mm -hmm. They tell you who you are. Right. They tell you what you have. Yeah. They tell you what your future is. Yeah. You don't run over there and get some verse that belongs just to the Jews right. and try to apply it to the church. You go to the New Testament letters, which are about us. Yes. And in that first chapter of Ephesians, mm -hmm. there is a prayer. <laughs> now, listen, there's a prayer that starts. And this prayer is asking that God downloads us with some revelation. Yeah. And it's about three things he wants to reveal to us. Mm. Now, this is a prayer. The Holy Ghost prayed it. Mm -hmm. We can pray it for ourselves. I pray this prayer every single day for me. Wow. Every day. I prayed it for, I don't know, 30 years. Now, wow. it starts with verse 17. You start like this. God of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of glory, give unto me the spirit of wisdom and revelation mm. in the knowledge of him. Mm -hmm. Let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened that I may know. And then it gives three things. What is the hope of his calling? What is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? But number three is what we're going to talk about today. Okay. Reveal to us what is the exceeding greatness of your power to us who believe according to the working of your mighty power, which you wrought in Christ when you raised him from the dead. Resurrection power. And set him at your own right hand in the heavenlies. Far above. Been good enough if he just said above, but he said far above. All principality, power, might, and dominion in every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. And you put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all to the ecclesia, the church, which is his body. He's the head, we're the body, mm -hmm. the fullness of him that filleth all in all. And you don't stop reading there. You don't stop praying there. Right. And we have he quickened, has he quickened who were dead, slain by our trespasses and sins. Now you skip to verse 4. You could talk about the prince of the power of the air and how he's working down through people, but we'll skip that for now. But God, who is rich in mercy, in order to satisfy his great love for with he loved us, mm -hmm. even when we were dead in sins, mm -hmm. quickened us together with Christ, by grace we are saved, raised us up together, 
and made us sit together in the heavenlies in Christ Jesus. Mm. Here's what he did. Thank you, Jesus. He's the head. We're the body. When he quickened the head, he quickened the body. When he raised the head, he raised the body. When he seated the head, he seated the body in him. And he put all things under the feet. Where are the feet? The feet are in the body. You could be the little toe nail on the left foot, <laughs> but the devil, you are far above him. Woo! Woo! Glory be to God. And you Amen. are told by God, this is in, uh, this is in Romans 5.17, they that have received abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness are to reign in life through Christ Jesus. Amplified says reign as kings in life. So we are to reign as kings in life. If you go on reading here, it says that the purpose of the ages, the divine purpose of the ages, ever since an age began before the very first age. I'm reading now from chapter 3. To make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world has been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ to the intent. Here's the purpose of the ages. To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known through the church the manifold wisdom of God. According to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord. He, from the beginning, before there was ever an age, he had an eternal purpose that he's going to raise up a people. And that people is going to manifest God to those demons in those heavenly places. And they're going to be the manifested sons of God, even on this earth.